God is so good. This is unbelievable. God is so good. When you believe, everything is possible. Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. I still haven't received a message yet, but it's early in the morning. And should I still wait? I mean, yes, of course, if a message comes, then, then that's good. But yeah, all I can do is to move on. So today I need to try to create other opportunities. But let's start this day right and have the... Breakfast. I love my breakfast, really. Every morning when I wake up, I'm looking forward to my breakfast because this one is porridge with strawberries, banana, some eggs, cheese. Seriously, I love my breakfast. Every night before I go to bed, I'm already looking forward to my breakfast in the morning. Really, I love having good breakfast because... Breakfast is very, very important, I think. So you need to make sure that you have the right breakfast. We're full of fiber that fills you with energy that you can survive this day. And I definitely need to survive this day because... <sighs> what should I do? What should I do? <clears throat> Considering another country, but then again, to don't know where to go like the funds in but i have a plan and hopefully it's gonna work out because me i always always even i'm a lucky guy or there's always something coming out of something so let's be optimistic and let's start this day right and keep believing The time is now exactly two o'clock and I still haven't received a message yet. And really this is a place where I come, just try to relax my mind and try to focus and try to think about my next steps. And today I really need that because I need to think clear. As I'm someone who really don't like to wait on other people, I don't really think that he's gonna message me. I don't know why, I've never had that in my life. I've been on a trial match, I've done, I think, good. We won the match. And normally, any manager in this world, if he don't like a player, he's a trialist, he would tell him, look, like, we don't need you, you're not good enough, this and that, but no message at all. I contacted him, called him, messaged him, no message, but, it's like that. There's no time to waste on, on that. So that's why we need to think. I need to think. What's going to happen now? So there are two options. Either I'll be hopeless, desperate, and just freak out because I still don't have a club. And I really feel like, what did I do to end up here? Or we keep believing, we keep being rational, and we think clear. And I need to think clear, what's my next step? First, I have an agent who said there's going to be something, but he still hasn't contacted me yet. Season is going to start in exactly three days, and I still don't have a club. I would say that I'm fit and I'm fully aware of what I'm able to do. And I said that I wouldn't drop leagues playing in the 10th division or step nine on those kind of clubs. But 
maybe I need to change my tactics and maybe I need to drop down levels again. So that's the only thing that I'm thinking of. Or I keep contacting managers of those higher division teams, but this is very unlikely that they're gonna take me, but you should never say never. So that's the point. So I still need to keep doing. I still need to keep belief because I've never had that in my life before being in such a situation like this really it feels like as soon as managers hear my name they straight say no sorry I was caught as fool but I think I'm just having an image in my head that is not really true like I just need to think clear and help God God help me please because he's the only person who can help me right now He's the only person who can help me right now. And in the Bible, it's written always, if you need something, he's going to give it to you. And you guys can't imagine yesterday how much I prayed to finally have a club. I mean, uh, but we keep, we keep going, we keep going. But I need a clean head. So I think I need to go to the barber because I look like, I don't know. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Mate, if you have a barber that you trust, man, every single time he's gonna nail it. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Plumstead. But biggest news ever, let me tell you something, guys. God is so good. The last couple of days I thought, ah, oh, this is very hard. Why does God let me suffer so much? But God is so good. God is so good. This is unbelievable. God is so good. Because something just happened, like I can't even explain it. Unbelievable, unbelievable. didn't pick up but now I just received a, a, a text message if it's possible that I can come to Cheshire Football Club Wow it's been a long long journey and I'm finally here and this car park is so full because it seems like Tottenham Spurs ladies are playing Oh my days! As we are back from training, I'm going to do my protein shake. As after training, proteins, I can't stop saying it, just so important. So that's why I'm going to do my protein shake. But how did this opportunity come up? Like what happened? So this is just crazy. When you guys remember season one, 365 days challenge to a pro contract i think it was on day five at the beginning when i signed a semi-pro contract with shesant this manager my old manager that i've been with this club and this is actually the person 
who converted me from a center back to a center forward. He was the first manager that I had here in England, so he knows me. And today, I just received a message after I went to the barber. He just called me and we were chatted and he asked me if I have a club and this and that, what am I doing? And I told him everything that I, I've been at Truro, but now I don't have a club and this and that. He told me that he wants to help me. So I had to come down to training and obviously his squad is full. And he told me that, Brendan, no matter where you go, you need to be patient because now nearly every squad is full in any team. So you really need to be patient. But I had the opportunity to train with his team today because he knows what I'm able to do. And when I played under him, I scored, I think, two hat-tricks and he just knows what I'm able to do. But as I said, the squad is full, but he really wants me in his team. But as the squad is full and the budget, the club budget is full as well, there's really no place for me in his team now. So that's why he told me to be patient. And in the meanwhile, he's trying to sort out something, but he can't promise me anything. But obviously, managers have always good contacts. So fingers just crossed that, that there's going to be an opportunity. God does exist. Like when I received that phone call, I really was close to crying because this is unbelievable. Guys, out of nowhere, my former manager contacted me and, and then this. I mean, there's nothing sure yet, but at least there's light at the end of the tunnel. I see light. And I still keep being optimistic because I know in the next couple of days there's going to be something and hopefully I can finally put pen to paper. That's what I'm looking for because what I need is game time. I need to play games. And that's it. So we keep moving forward. Keep moving forward and glory to God. Glory to God. Guys, with faith, everything is possible. And this was a push, a sign from God that, Brandon, never let your head down. Always keep it up because there's great things ahead of me. So that's why I always keep believing, always. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. Keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible. So team run now. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow.